Today I'm going to show you how to turn a decimal value, which is your normal numbers like 128, into a binary or a hexadecimal format. You'll use this a lot for programming and computer stuff mostly. But uh, I'll show you the easy way first, and then I'll show you how you get those easy answers. So the easiest way to do it is with the Windows calculator. So you're just going to hit start, type in calc, or click on the calculator, or whatever. It's on. It's in uh, accessories. Where is it? Accessories calculator. So when you get here, you'll want to change your view from standard to programmer. Or I think in XP you just have to change it to scientific. But you just want to make sure that you have these options over here that say binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to, if you're transmitting a number from decimal to binary, then you're going to want the decimal to be on first, and then you type in the ne number in decimal. So if you want 852 in binary, you type it in decimal format there, and then you just click on the binary option, and it transmits to binary. But then you look at this number and you're like, what the hell is this? Well, I'll explain that in a minute, but that is 852 in binary. And if you want to see what that number looks in, like in hexadecimal, then you just click on hex. And that's what it looks like. And that number is 182, was it? Or 852. Yeah. So, now you're like, well, why? Uh, here, I'll show you the exact math to do it. It's pretty easy. The uh, way you can look at it is we have our number system that goes from 0 to 9. That's 10 numbers, and that's why it's a decimal number system. Decimal means 10. So you have your 1's place, and then you multiply that by 10 to get your 2's place, or your 10's place, sorry. Uh, and so that means any number that's there, you multiply by 10. And then any number that's here, you multiply by 100. And so when that's all done, you get your final number. That looks like this. Well, decimal, well binary is almost exactly the same. It's just you only have two numbers instead of having ten numbers. You only have zero and one. So instead of having your ones and then your tens, you're going to have your one. And if you multiply that by two, because you only have two numbers instead of ten, then you get your two's place. So And then if you multiply that by two, then you get your four's place. So then that's exactly how you keep going with that. And you just multiply this number by the value you have of your binary to get what it is in hex in decimal. So if you want to transmit it from binary to decimal, then all you have to do is multiply it by its placeholder value, which would be a 2 in, th in this column, and then a 4 in this column, and then you add all those numbers up, and it'll give you this number back. Or if, you, if I had put that number to decimal, that'd be really big. So I didn't do that one, but we'll find out what number this is. Uh, this binary number right here, which is 01011010, you want to know, well, I don't know what number that is. Well, let's find out. So you do 1 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 0 is 0. 8 times 1 is 8. 16 times 1 is 16. 32 times 0 is 0. 64 times 1 is 64. Jesus. 64. And 128 times 0 is 0. So, then all you have to do is add up these numbers. 64 plus 16. I'll use the calculator for this just to make sure I get it right. 64 plus 16 plus 8, plus 0, uh, damn it. 64, plus 16, plus 8, plus 2, equals 90. So this binary value here equals 90. Well, we should probably double check that just to make sure we did our math right. So, if you want to double check that this binary value here is 90, then you're just going to click on the binary option here and hit 0, 1, 0, 1. You have to start from the left. 1, 0, 1, 0. And then you just click on decimal, and the answer is 90, so we were correct. 
Hexadecimal is the exact same idea, except instead of having two numbers, now you have 16. And so for the extra numbers, they make it up by adding letters. So instead of having a 10 number, you have A, and 11 is B. So we can do the exact same thing here, where your first column is your ones column. You have to multiply that by 16 for your next column, because you have 16 numbers. And then you multiply that by 16 to get your third column, and so on. So to get this number, which is 06F5, which doesn't seem like a number at all, but it is, into, you, into an actual decimal number like this one, you just need to multiply it. So 1 times 5 is 5. 16 times F, which is 15, is going to be 240. And then for 256 times 6 is going to equal 1536. And 4096 times 0 is still 0. So let me just add up these numbers here. Plus 5 is going to give us 1781. And to double check that, we can just type in this number, 6F5, into the hexadecimal cal calculator. 6, and that's why it has these letters over here now. F5, you want it in decimal, is 1781. So we did our math correctly. To do it the opposite way, it's a little harder to get it back from decimal into like hexadecimal, but I'll show you how to do that in another video. This one's getting kind of long. So if you are wondering how to get it back into the other format, just watch my next video. Thank you. Bye.